Hey, we have another problem from UNSW integration B2019. This was problem 25. Okay, so we have this really complicated looking expression that looks hard to deal with. And actually it may kind of look almost impossible because there's so much going on here with natural logs inside of the square root. The thing that sticks out is like, notice that this term in the numerator is exactly the same as this. And with the bounds the way they were, it makes me think this is a good case for King's principle. So let's just go over how this is gonna work and see how it goes. So we start with a U substitution and we add our bounds together. So we'll add zero and minus four, and we have minus four minus x. And from that, we can find a value for x pretty quick. It's just gonna be x is minus four minus u. We'll just take our derivative. So for dx, we're gonna have dx is equal to minus du. Then we'll make our substitution. And what you'll notice, when we plug a zero in here, we have minus four. And when we plug a minus four in, we get zero. So whenever we do this, we always get this type of, we flip the bounds and that's, I think what I'll do, let's just look at a couple of values. So like five minus two X, if we plug in this in here, minus four minus U, what are we gonna get? We're gonna have five plus eight is 13, um, minus two times minus U is plus two U. Then notice what we do when we do that substitution in U, we have the same value here that we have there for our, our five minus two X becomes like 2x plus 13, but in u. Let's see, then let's look at our 2x plus 13. So that's gonna be two times minus four minus u plus 13. So we're gonna have minus eight minus two u uh, plus 13, and that's actually gonna be five minus two u. So notice our 2x plus 13 becomes five minus two x, except in u. So it kind of just flips everything around. Okay, so now that we found these values, let's just plug these back into the problem. Okay, so now we've substituted everything back in here. Now notice we do have this minus sign in front of the du, and what I'll do is we'll just use that, we'll bring it out front here, okay? But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this to flip the bounds. So instead of going from zero to minus four, we're just gonna change that and go from minus four to zero. And the reason I like that is because it's exactly what we had in the beginning. And then for the next step, what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna do a variable change. Because it's a definite integral, the variable doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm just gonna switch it back to x. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get it to look like what we had originally. So I'm gonna just switch this all back to x. Okay, now we're in pretty good shape. We've got it back in x. And notice actually our, um, our denominator here is exactly the same as our denominator here. Okay, it's just in a different order. And we're everything in x, we get the same bounds. So what I wanna do is add these together. And what we can do is we can label, this will be our original integral, we'll call that i. And all we've done is manipulate it, but we're still, this integral here is the same as this integral here. So if we add these two together, we just have two copies. So let's just see how that all looks when I add it together. Now adding them together, it could have been two integrals, but I just smashed these two together and that's because we have the same denominator, right? So there's nothing preventing me from just bringing it into one integral. And what happens is because we have this 2x plus 13 and this one five minus two x, and now our numerator is exactly the same as our denominator. Okay, so we cancel everything out and the whole integral becomes just one. And that's the beauty of the King's principle is everything simplifies just like that. So now integrating one, of course, we're just gonna get the integral of one is gonna be x, and we're just evaluating from zero to minus four. Okay, but then that's easy to do. That's gonna be zero minus minus four, and that's just gonna be a plus four. Now we almost have our answer, but remember this is two copies of the integral. So we're just gonna divide by two to get back just our original integral. So we'll divide by two here. And so our final solution is just gonna be two. That's it. Good problem. I always love doing the King's Principle. So thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day.